Man, it's Maxi Max. Come to you live from Miles Nature, Virginia. Now we're right here in Richmond, Vile, Virginia, for the interview. In the city, I was down bad in my pockets, it's pretty. I know them niggas is trying to go against me. Back on my bully, I stay on my grizzly. Praying for forgiveness, I know. Where did Maxi Max come from? The name Maxi Max. I go by Max. Where? I've gone by Max my whole life. My mom was calling me Max since the day I was born. So my mom really wanted to name me, but my dad didn't have that in mind. He felt like that was too short of a name to go on a birth certificate. So I've always gone by Max my entire life. Where? Had a couple different rap names. Different variations of Maxi Max. I felt like it was the best version of myself I could possibly be. Okay. The most Max, if that makes sense. Okay. But yeah, so you from Alexandria, bro. So tell us a little bit, because we from South VA, you know sure. what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit of like everyday Maxi Max life in Alexandria, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at this point, I got a five year old son. I've, I've lived a hectic lifestyle throughout the course of my life. Now I just I stay out the way. I handle my business, I be in the studio. You know what I'm saying we're running our business. Everybody eats the label, so I just deal with our deal with day to day affairs. Me and my man Yo over there, we conduct Not a lot of business. We deal with a lot of people throughout the day in and mm -hmm. out the studio, doing different things we need to do. And I was gonna ask you about that too because a lot of times I damn I reach out to you, you'll open a message and he'll reply. Exactly. So like, so how did you and your manager how y'all link up? Like we known each other since middle school. Oh, where? Yeah. So y'all yeah. been friends since? Yeah, we, we've known each other for a very long time. There's a certain point in time about. I'd say a year ago, where we linked up just off some cool shit to chill. It's one of the days, and he he brought to my attention. He felt like, given his resources and his business prowess, with what I already had going on, we could really execute and take it to the next level. Where where so, y'all really more like a family type bond now. Exactly. Y'all been knowing each other. Okay, facts facts. All right, so we gonna get into a little of this music, man. Since we've been really looking at this shit since last night, we've been working. Okay. But okay. just like 20 minutes ago, we was listening to it was the most viewed song. I was just saying this shit was hard. Where? How did? Help me out. Bro. EB freestyle. Yeah, EB freestyle. Yeah. So that's where, my shit. where that come from, bro? Like we were just saying like that. So our, our labels, yeah, everybody eats the label. So at this okay. it's, it's a basic EB, concept. EB, 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 you feel me? Like you see, he got the EB mask on right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little thing going on. We got EB Mass for sale too. You know what I'm saying? Holla, holla me, holla him. Well, yeah, for we sure. got we got them jumps going. We're about to, legit, man. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We we have our official business, our LLC. It's all shit we've established in the past six months. We started from scratch. Like I I was doing what I had been doing my music for a very long time, but as far as what we have going on now, we built that from the bottom. So how old are you? Well, I'm 27. 27. Yeah. Right, and so how long you think you've been rapping? Since I was like nine. Where so like when you think you really start taking this shit serious? Two thousand, two thousand twelve. Where you? Cause you got you got a decent amount of videos. Like you got. Yeah, I, I tried eleven videos last year. I think. Where like you got a decent little amount of videos. I think uh, we was checking out Spotify last night. That yeah. song Perry Perry. Yeah, Perry Perry Doing Perry Perry decent goes. numbers on yeah, Spotify. Sure. Yeah. So like, all right. So you out in Alexandria? Like, you got your you got your kid. You got your girl, you got a yeah, girl too. So exactly. how like you balancing all this stuff? Like you got your gotta take care of your business at home, but you gotta everybody each label. You got Honestly, I'm I'm used to living such a hectic lifestyle, been in and out of trouble for so many years okay. that I look I look at all the responsibilities a blessing, quite frankly. Word. Because I, I didn't have that. I had no, I had nothing but consistent turmoil in my life. Like since I since I was a kid, my dad got murdered when I was eleven. So I was dealing with shit like that beforehand. Just dealing with being in the streets, running around after that, making bad choices consistently. Like whatever comes with the good, I take it the same way. The lifestyle I was living, whatever comes with it, the negative consequences. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. So, but now, like you, you just understand, though. Like you gotta. You yeah, it. so you it's just it's you just it's, move it's a little different. Yeah, you doing your rap shit. You you a businessman. You doing this. You doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, but so another thing in the future, like what do you think we can look forward to from Maxi Max? Like, is we got a tape coming? We got a man. I got another pro. I got another project. The uh, EP that I'm about to drop with UBN. Okay. That's a producer from my side. I, I'm. He, he's around the Woodbridge area. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he be with a lot of artists from Alexandria, all, all across Northern Virginia, UBM, be working with everyone. I got a project with Uncle Barry that we're working on probably later this year. The UBM project's gonna drop this month, though. Um, we just started working. We did a single with Young Land yesterday. Shout out Young Land. That was huge. Define RVA. You know what I'm saying? My man DK, go get at them. 
saying they're doing their thing down here in Richmond. We just linked up with them, knocked something out, so we're gonna see where that goes. I really love linking with producers and recreating. Like that's that's my biggest thing. All right, bro, and all right, I had to look at my jump from last night because I know we was looking at your video, Street Lights. I think that's the name. Yeah. Is that the name of Street Lights? Which one? What's the name of the video, right? Yeah, I got Street Lights. What's the inspiration behind the Street Lights video? Because that was kind of a little more. The video itself? Like the the video was dope itself, but I'm saying like the song? what you were saying, like you had Man. To be like you know. I, on, honestly, it's it's kind of a concept I got from my dad because like when I was young, right. My dad would never come home. Does that make sense? Yeah. My dad would always be out like way past. He, he might go to work, supposed to be off at 7 o'clock, come home at 6 o'clock in the morning. And, pot, and, and not as bad of a way because I'd be having shot really to do. I might be in the studio late hours. Um, You could reference another song I have, Ain't Coming Home. Right. With Pac Luciano. Shout out, man, Pac Luciano. He referenced that song. I'm taught not coming home. It's kind of a, a, a different variable. Does that make sense? Yeah, I see the con, the con, the concept of like coming back home. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You you being you being out and whatever come whatever comes with that negative consequences of being out past when you're supposed to once the street lights on. And I think that's why we was fucking with that last night too because we felt like that was some real shit too. Like, yeah, we've been having some like we been having some good shit. I try I try to relate like real basic concepts that we learn as people back into the music, back into the street aesthetic, the hip hop aesthetic, right. basic concepts that everyone can relate to. I feel like that's important. So like, when it comes to your style of music though, like when you making your videos, you think of some stuff you want for your videos, like who do you think you get inspired from like industry wise or if anybody? Video wise, I just wing it. Just Vi video, video wise, the vi all, every video we've dropped, every video I've ever shot actually, I played a part in directing it. Um, probably whoever I was with played a part in directing it. It's, all, it's never really been me trying to uh, emulate anything that happens in the industry. Okay. Um, as far as my music's concerned, I follow all the greats. You know what I'm saying? So back to we go back to our top fives, like our big Pac, Hov, and Nas. Down to now, we you know what I'm saying we have great people like Lil Durk, Gunna, Lil Baby. Like they're, they're mo modern day great artists. Like okay. you know what I'm saying NBA Young Boys, Roddy Riches. Like I love, I love, I love great hip hop music throughout all the years. I've always like that. That's like my. That's like my school. That's like my church. That's my. That's my everything. You got a passion for it. Yeah, like that, nigga, I, I, I live for that. So, but since you just name dropped a bunch of a bunch of big names, so who, if you had to pick a top five right now, like who? Right now, Maxi Max top five right now for Vibe with Gene. Who you got? Man, it ain't got to be in a specific order. I don't you. know. There's a lot. I listen to a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I listen to a lot of music from around my way. More than any, more than any big artist, I listen. I listen to artists from around my way. Facts. So, for, for first and foremost, you know what I'm saying. So we're talking about my industry top five. Who I'm listening to on a regular basis is still Future. Future's like my, Future's my biggest one. You know, Drake. Drake is probably one of my favorite rappers ever, but I'm not really on Drake right like that right now. But Drake's my favorite rappers ever, so I gotta throw them in there. Future, Future and Drake, they're like, they're they're great. Like, that's all. That's what it's about to me is greatness. How, how, what is your impact? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, I got Lil Baby, Lil Durk, and five. That fifth spot's tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's so there's so many people like you tell me name five people do is like I don't know, but I you got a solid little list right there. Yeah, and yeah. like you can't go wrong with Future and Drake anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. Like Drake, he automatic. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, not to say I'm not a fan of like real MCs like the Kendrick Lamar's and the J yeah, Cole's, sure. but like, man, I'm I'm all about like current like current impact like what's. What's hitting home? What's what's re what's reaching the young niggas? You Fact. feel me? What's reaching the young niggas? What are they making a change with? Like, so like, all right, when it come to rap, like you, you said you still can relate with the the old MC, yeah. like the damn. So yeah. you like, fuck, spit a free a quick eight for us real quick. Yeah, for so. sure. It can so. be a written jump, a damn. Right. Two up, two down, keep a stick on me when I move around. You know I'm lucrative and I got a whole lot of new styles. That means new bands, that means new drugs. And you know I'll be on all designer drugs. You don't gotta find a plug, you can holler at me and you know that we finna get it done. I'ma get it in, I'ma get dirty, I'ma get active and I'm never worried. Have a been the phone, I'm really skirting, have been a hoopty and I'm really working. It don't really matter what the fuck you trying to do, cause you know that Maxi always finna slide through and he been just kicking shit brief like haikus. I don't really speak much, I just do what I do. Hey. My nigga did that shit 
No question. He said, hey, that nigga brush his shit off real quick. Yeah. That nigga ain't here. He ain't say nothing else. He just did that shit. Well, yeah, I live for this, man. Hey, I, I love that shit, you. though. I love that shit. Maxi Max, man. Hey, let's talk about some of your, uh, let's talk about some of your, uh, videographers, bro. Let me see. I don't know how to. I don't want to disrespect nobody's name right here, but we got Key Rusty. Key, Key Rusty. Yeah, Key, Key Rusty. Yeah. I ain't know how to pronounce that shit even when I met him. He's from Glen Burnie, Maryland, for real. Word. He's he's kind of like far out the way. I ain't ever been to Glen Burnie in my life. Word. I linked up with him because a couple artists from Alexandria who worked with him previously. Um, I found him like that. Um, so That's what basically, I was just saying, how you linking up? Yeah, I I found him. If you look at Pac Luciano, pull up to this first video I seen by Key Rusty. Okay. And that that's how that's how I really found him. Uh, I did a lot of work with him since then. We probably have like five or six videos. We've been we've been consistent. Um, I fuck with his work ethic. The Jones look like he he got good work. Yeah, he, he has good work ethic, and he he said he references like a lot of anime shit. Like okay. he uses different effects than other people use. I really fuck with that. Like he got he got a different vision as far as the videos are concerned than a lot of people. I fuck with the cinematic shit, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he be finessing the shit. He be making it fly. Fuck for with sure, it. yeah, for sure. Alright, so this last jump right here, well not the last jump, but recently, like a couple days ago, your manager sent me this jump, like, yeah, put some yeah. jump up. To the casket club, let's talk about this jump right here. Where the inspiration behind this come from? Let's talk a little bit about this song. Um First of all, you know my my son is a big feature in the video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, and it's like it, it, a, a big a big thing about the concept of video is like, what do you stand for? Facts. You know what I'm saying. If you notice, we like climbing, we climbing mountains type shit. You know what I'm saying. Me and my niggas, it's like, what what do you stand for? You know, we have the family aspect. We have my son there. You know what I'm saying. We have unity. Everyone being together. No man left behind. It's kind of like that. We a lot of the video, the concept, we winged it. I had I had a, I had a loose idea of what it could be. I mentioned it to Yo. He thought of a couple spots. We link up with the videographer on the spot and just kind of wing it. Fair. That's how most of our videos have been. But at the end of the day, it's what what do you stand for? It's I'm, I'm like keep the gangster to the casket closed. But what does that mean for you? You feel me? Facts. Why why do you do what you do? Why why do you keep the gangster to the casket closed? You do it for some sucker shit to be fly fuck bitches, or you do this be cut to provide? You feel me? Everyone who I'm around, I see them consi consistently put everything on the line to provide for their families. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like and that, that's that's ultimately that's the concept of the video. It's like what what is what is this this collective of people who are who are with me? What do we stand for? Is it? Do you have any artists from around your way or just Virginia in general? Man, that I would say that in Alexandria specifically, we probably have one of the most lucrative hip hop scenes that I've ever seen. Yeah, the best, the best, mu the best music with the most different, different sounds. It's not like nothing I've heard, Fact. like across across the board. And I think that's not really spoken for too much. Explain to me, like the term to you, DMV. Um, I mean it's DC, it's DC, Maryland, Virginia, and Fact. it's like, I think it's the whole, like no, this thing is Northern Virginia is bigger than a lot of people realize. You feel Facts. me? All the way down in Manassas is still considered Northern Virginia and people move to Manassas to work in DC. You feel me? Right. That's that's the thing. It's like DC is the nation's capital. So all those cities surrounding it, you know, there's a lot of people who's probably from Chicago, say they're from Chicago, but they're from a suburb of Chicago. Yeah. But because yeah. it's in the same state, they still say it's from Chicago. So the DMV is a little bit different because it's all these air er these areas surrounding DC. Right. That can be easy. That can be easily like you can get yourself there easily. That's where you work. Like most people work in D.C. They they might live in Virginia, or they might live in Maryland, but they work in D.C. There's most federal government jobs in the United States of America. Today. See, like live, see, living in the South, we be so confused on that shit. That's why I had to ask because I finally had a a nigga from up top in here. Yeah, for sure. When it come back to the music shit. And I know you had a lot of shit going on in your life when you was young and shit. Yeah, that sure. shit like carry over like into beef with the music. Like the niggas be trying to like because they see you rapping. The niggas be trying to like you know throw a little me, bit or something. Me, me personally, nah. I have pretty good relationships with people. Where you know what I'm saying? The way the way that I move, like niggas don't really. The only reason to have an issue with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I have seen this happen a lot around my way though. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's a change to a certain extent because it's so much good music coming around the way. But it's exactly. like. I don't know. It's like kind of like two different, two different united, two different united fronts almost. Did you, you feel see? Me? Did you see anybody really like once you started doing music and shit, and you felt like you was doing your thing? Did you see anybody like start acting different? Yeah, a hundred percent. But I think that comes with. Um, 
how do I put this? A lot of my life, I felt like I was I was pointed at to be the cause of a problem. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. Um, so like a, a lot a lot of people who I was around, even people who I felt were closest in my circle, um, once I no longer like in the, this is mostly in the past year. I've been doing music for a long time, so but I felt like sort of like I'm the scapegoat, right? When something goes wrong or ev- ev- you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden roles are roles are reversed. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden now I'm doing everything right. I'm becoming an inspiration for a lot of people who was frowning upon everything I do. So once you start doing that, you start making all these different moves. Um, these same people who you thought love you so much, they consistently are still looking for you to be somebody that you're not trying to be no more. Exactly. You feel me? And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like oh, like you're not as hard or you're not, you're not doing the same shit. It's not about that at all. But it's more so like they can. It's like you are like addicted to failure almost. It's like consist, consistently, I'm running into my shortcomings because I'm willing to jump out there, take the next step. Now I'm jumping out there and being effective. Right. And they're, and they're looking at me to still be beneath them when I've, I've now moved myself above. Leveled up, exactly. Yeah. Like, niggas hate to see a nigga level up. Especially somebody who damn been envying from, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, who never so, really wanted to see you do better in the first Yeah, exactly. Time. People don't, people, people will show you a lot of love um, as long as you're beneath them. It's like almost like they're coddling you. Like a baby, and then they, they, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like they, they want to keep you down here. They want to keep you down there cause they, so they can feel good about themselves. Exactly. And whatever situation they have going on. Once you improve your situation, and it might even be more beneficial for you to improve your situation, they still want to keep you right here because that's uncomfortable for them. Shit. But let's well, get this let's get this quick Maxi Max 8 real quick before well, we get this pitch in, man. Viral well, Virginia exclusive. Let's viral, get it. Uh, viral VA coming from the north side of VA, thugging in this motherfucker even though it's a police state. You know, you come around and shop with me, I got it for a cheap rate. You know, these niggas really ain't hustling, they some cheapskates. Uh, I'm trying to run it up until that shit is through the roof. Uh, you know your bitch, I put it in the mouth, it's through the roof. Uh, you know, the, I shit on niggas, it's like a pooper scoop. Uh, you niggas <laughs> fucked up, they really good for troops. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm just playing with niggas and all the shit that I be saying to niggas. I power up and super saying on niggas, my bitch be telling me I just need to lay down and chill. But I'm trying to get all this scrilla for real. Uh. That's the way that I'm moving, I'm pursuing shit that these other niggas really ain't doing. Uh, EB, baby, it's more than a movement, it's really in my niggas going, this, putting this shit through the roof. Uh huh. Hey, man, I love this shit, bro. Support your local trap star out now on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? You find find all my music videos at Everybody Eats the Label on YouTube. You, know you follow me at MaxiMax1 on Instagram and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Follow Everybody Eats Label on Instagram and Twitter. Follow my manager, The World Is Yo's, on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And get me some Yove on uh on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? We we get into it. Shame about nothing for real.